Here's an example of second quadrant polar coordinates. Remember, second quadrant is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, which means we have positive values for y, but negative values for x. And if we look at the midpoint between those two, between 90 and 180, that's going to be 135 degrees. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. Now, when we defined our polar coordinates, we used the sort of classic right triangle that was over in the first quadrant. And when we did that, we had our equations that the tangent of theta was equal to y over x, the opposite over the adjacent. We're going to keep this over here on the side because even though our angles look different in the second quadrant, we're still going to be using that if we're defining our angles correctly. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say I have a value where my x is equal to minus 5 and my y is equal to a positive 2. So that's a second quadrant type value. If I look at my tangent theta, according to this equation, that tangent theta is going to be my plus 2 over my minus 5. I can calculate that out as a value, my plus 2 over my minus 5. And you should be able to do this in your head, but just in case, that gives us a minus 0 0.4. Now, if I were to actually work this in the calculator, I'd say my theta is equal to the inverse tangent of plus 2 over minus 5, or the inverse tangent of minus 0 0.4. Inverse tangent of negative 0 0.4. And my calculator gives me an answer of negative 21.8 degrees. Now wait a minute. That's not a value between 90 and 180 degrees. What's going on here? You have to remember that calculators don't know which quadrant you're in. When they see a value like negative 0.4, they don't know whether the plus 2 or the minus 5, which one of those was negative. They're thinking this looks an awful lot like the inverse tangent of minus 2 over plus 5, which would also be the inverse tangent of negative 0 0.4. But in that case, my negative 2.8, 21.8, is actually a negative 2 in the y and a plus in the 5, so that is over in the fourth quadrant, which means it's some degrees down from the 0 axis. So that's why our calculator is giving us a negative 21.8, which isn't the right answer. So what do we do? Well, let's think of it this way. When I have a quadrant 2 triangle, I really have something like this. And what my calculator is doing is saying this angle over here is minus 21.8 from the 180 degree reference line. So my angle should properly be written as 180 degrees minus my 21.8 degrees. And that gives me 158.2 degrees, which is exactly where I expected. I've got a larger value of x, the 5, in the negative direction, and my smaller value of 2 in the y direction, so I'm definitely supposed to be between 135 and 180. And that's what I get once I take into account the shift of the quadrant. So again, these are second quadrant problems.